Hello, welcome back to our channel, where we provide you with everything you should know about your health. Today, we will reveal to you a very important health risk many people don't know about. Let's imagine you come back home hungry after a long day. You grab some leftover food from the fridge, put it into a disposable plastic container, and pop it into the microwave. A few minutes later, the food is steaming hot and you dig in without a second thought. Simple, right? What if I told you that you might have taken tiny bits of that same plastic into your body? Let's discuss how this happens. We use plastics every day, whether bottled water, takeaway packs, or even wrapping hot food in nylon bags. Over time, these plastics break down into tiny particles called microplastics. High temperatures can cause the long chain polymer backbone of plastics to chemically break down, a process known as thermal degradation. This process weakens the material, making it more fragile and prone to breaking into tiny fragments. Although there's limited data on the health impact of these microplastics, but here's what a few studies, including an environmental research has to say. One, exposure to nano and microplastics in humans potentially leads to cancers, respiratory disorders, and inflammatory bowel disease. Two, they can induce apoptosis, death of cells, and cytotoxic effects. Three, there's a growing concern about links to fertility issues. Have you ever left a bottle of water in a hot car then drank it later? Or reheated food in a plastic container? These everyday actions release even more chemicals from plastics into your food and drinks. The good news is you can reduce your risk with a few simple changes. One, use glass or stainless steel containers instead of plastic, especially for hot food. Two, don't drink bottled water that's been sitting under the sun for long. Three, Avoid reheating food in disposable plastics. Four, try not to reuse single-use plastics over and over. Plastics are everywhere, but your health isn't replaceable. Small habits such as switching containers or avoiding hot plastics can help protect you and your family. What other alternative do you think could help reduce the risks? Let us know in the comments. If this video was helpful, share it with a friend who always drinks bottled water 